can actually go with my face, so smooth is it. Like really well, we hope his boss doesn't see the block. Something very frustrating. You feel it in sharp corners. Then we wanted to test with other downpipes like we promised to you guys. <laughs> Good morning, brand new 218. And a quick good morning to you, comrades. And first, apologize for yesterday's, well, quick cut in the vlog, no outro. And the reason why we also kind of running behind for the vlogs, because thanks to amazing, not even border police, but everything who gave me almost a full cavity search yesterday and a full terrorist treatment. But let's not talk about bad things, let's talk about good things. Today's weather is amazing, we can see the castle, and most of all, we can see Pete back again, like yesterday, it's almost a tradition, starting the vlog with Pete. And he brought back already 218, which received the treatment by Nanolex. So, well, uh, can I touch it? Yeah. Okay, because it has, holy shit, that's smooth as, I can actually go with my face, so smooth is it. Like really, that should be commercial uh, for, uh, you know. For, for Nanolex, yeah. your cars get th this smooth, you can like go with put puppies on it and such. Yeah. It's really, really smooth. And you can really do the typical 80s, like sliding over the bonnet cup style. Oh, yeah, yeah, really cool. Well, tell us what you've done to it. It's been cleaned, it's been coated, so basically every single possible exterior surface has been coated. Wow, Paint, glass, plastic, everything the chromes in the front, headlights, rear lights, everything really nice even even the wheels so now it's very easy to get off those bugs yeah, yeah it is yeah. wow so uh it's gonna ease up our life tremendously it should really looking forward to that wow but again i told you already earlier before we had the 458 coated by them i made a vlog about it i'll probably forget to put it up in the description below but I'll, I'll try and if not just ask me and I'll put it in the comments um, those guys they're like really going full autism autism on the car when it comes to car cleaning really cool really looking forward to uh, to give this car a quick clean not with my fingers because yeah kind of it's the one of the least things I want to do put my fingers on the dead bugs just one more time that's really smooth I can actually sleep on the car seriously but yeah cool i really like to thank you for the amazing job thank you and uh the next one is that the sub will seven do. up will do yeah unfortunately i cannot uh, give it to you right now because we have dino scheduled for tonight then brake upgrades and suspension that's this and that but it uh it really deserves some love some love and on the background of this 218 you might have, have spot on this st is this a 200 or one yeah, it's a, it, no it's, a, it's an st 180 yeah 180 um, but, but you upgraded now, it it's about 250 horsepower yeah yeah, yeah. So pretty naughty but yeah it's lovely it's cool Loads of different bits on it, I'll kind of take you around. Yeah, let's so, have a look. This, um, by the way, Alex so, from Peak Performance, you can have a look. Peak Performance Reviews, yeah. if you can follow me, that would be amazing. Yeah. Um, I follow this guy, he's amazing, I love his videos. So yeah, basically we've got a, um, a Revo Stage 2 upgraded car. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the uh, Nankan NS2Rs on there, and we use that every day. So yeah. it, gets, it gets used about 10, 15 um, thousand uh, miles a year mm -hmm. we've got the yellow speed um six pot uh 330 mil brakes that's um, fairly big for yeah, such a car and, and they've got the pad we've we've gone through different pads and we've now gone for the uh padded rs29 yeah. which is like a race pad yeah they're a little bit noisy and squeaky and people look at us funny but they're amazing yeah i've done literally seven or eight hard track days yeah. they're still remaining they've still got you know plenty of uh, yeah. give uh, going on them um, front mounted in the cooler front mount in the cooler from uh it's from uh airtech yeah um and auto specialist basically um mounted that and that's a stage two mm -hmm. um there it's probably getting close to its limit um so they say so if we go stage three we'd need, need to go bigger it's got an as um stage two intake with a, a hard upper intake lower intake mm -hmm. um well there you go oh, what a someone, service someone look at that yeah that's... so it, yeah no, nothing crazy it looks like a stock motor it's just yeah. got the AS in, in the cooler and hard piping and uh, also the silicon piping. Mm -hmm. Other than that, obviously it shields itself from the um, from yeah, hot air, which is, is great. Yeah. Um, other than that, we've got this, you'll probably notice as well, looks a bit different. A bit different from the norm. 
it's got the suspension it's, yeah suspension actually it's only lowered on an iBrack pro kit so oh, okay we were going to go coilovers and we probably will eventually go coilovers because i we plan to maybe get rid of this but we actually love it so much we're probably going to keep it um it's got this uh, an aftermarket bumper yeah um, it's called a, it's a, a it's a maxton design rs uh, 400 bumper they call it and it's um the rear the wing is the same yeah. so some people don't like the rear, rear wing um what some people do, what you probably will notice is it sits really high. Yeah. Some people, they buy the, the smaller um, mm -hmm. spoiler and then it sits better. We're probably going to do that because we're, we we think it does sit a bit high, but it's a bit like an RS. That's how, how obviously it is. Yeah. But it's got a full exhaust system as well. It's a, it's a custom exhaust, so yeah. it's a three-inch exhaust all the way through. Um, and there probably are a few things that I've probably forgot about, actually, but it's, it's got quite a few um, little toys and bits. It's an SD3, so it's, you know, fully loaded bits and bobs. But yeah, I've got a couple of other toys that I must mess around in. Yeah, that's I love it. Good. So that's me, basically. Yeah, um, that's, cool. Uh, we talk about that on our channel, and we kind of do yeah. a race in the vlogging just like you, so. Cool, so make sure to give this guy a follow. Just one more time here, peak performance reviews. Yep. Cool, well, thanks for stopping by, and yeah, hopefully you'll bring you a super next time yeah and awesome. see you next time Appreciate perfect it. thank care. you well, right. very sophisticated yeah it's nice and quiet isn't it yeah not too as bad yeah. oh yeah take the wasp with you i don't want it here bye You mind being in the vlog or you don't care? Okay. Okay? I hope my new boss doesn't see the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> well, we hope his boss doesn't see the vlog. This is Jose Hello. and he was on the business trip in Frankfurt yeah. and he was finished a bit earlier and he said, well, since I have spare time, I, I cannot leave Germany without being going to the yeah. Nürburgring. So, uh, I have seen it so many times, but yeah. never been here. Cool. That well, there's the a first time for everything. Yeah. Hopefully the weather stays dry and those clouds will go past us. Let's hope so. Because, yeah, we want to do a couple of laps with the GTI with you. Yeah. And after that, I hope to test the new up with the exhaust and with the new POV setup that I mounted on this helmet, which should be proper in the middle. I'm gonna jump in the up and you can just follow me with the GTI to the gonna get tickets and see you in a bit. Really hope that we're gonna get dry laps because again I plan to oh that's a point let me get in the car first. Yeah I really hope to do some dry laps because tonight we're gonna dyno the up and see which downpipe performs the best. And tomorrow I'm planning to install the new brakes, so I really want to have comparison with the more or less stock with only chip tuned up on the ring we did 915 i believe diana uh, timed me once 904 but i don't have video of that and so i don't i don't count it as a result uh result today with uh upgraded exhaust and downpipe and then result tomorrow with upgraded brakes and then next time result with the suspension so you and me of course can see which upgrade does what whether it's really beneficial and of course it is unfortunately we don't have a fully stock time but uh, we're planning to buy a stock up in the future, so maybe we're gonna have that to have a great comparison. But anyway, enough talking. Uh, I upgraded my keychain with the key. Um, yeah, I upgraded my key with the keychain that I got from Suzanne Schmitz. Um, yeah, here it is. By the way, a lot of people have asked me where you can get it. Um, there, there's gonna be an email in the description of the video, so you can stalk her with all the questions. Um, yeah, that's it. So let's head out. And let's hear the cold start of the up. Oh yeah, well, first to the ignition, then lower the there. And now. Oh yeah, rumble in the jungle. Or should I better say the green hell? Uh, whatever. Oh, here I'm popping. That was cool. <laughs> I should worry if I wasn't nervous, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should worry. <laughs> no, I'm not worried, it's okay. Yeah, the, uh, the orange. But, yeah. Ta da! Ta da! Let's go! Let's go! First lap. We had the sun, but halfway through the lap, it turned in into something very frustrating, especially for me, because that means there's not going to be any good lap. But you did very well, so how was it for you? Thank you. Impressive. Really impressive? impressive? Yeah. yeah for... With the rain, it was really impressive. Yeah. Really impressive. yeah. It was very good. You're a very good driver. Thank 
Yes, you, you listen very nice. Thank he you. drives a Mini Cooper back at home. Barcelona, you said? Yeah, Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. That's so, right. a lot on uh, cat the track to Catalonia? And, well, no, there's another track, smaller, for my car, Castelloli. Okay. Because Circuit of Catalonia is maybe too big for my car. Oh. And my car is a little bit underpowered for that track. But I like, I like yeah. the track days, yeah. Cool. The track is closed. But the 13 is back. How was it? Nice. You did three laps now in total. Laps, yes. So one in the wet. How are the tires in the wet? Uh, we drove uh, quite responsible. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but I feel it in sharp corners. Now. Yeah, of course. Well, but that's same mistake. But it's like not completely rubbish. Or no, no. Okay, that's that's good to know. So we can still like go out with them on the on those conditions. Um, yeah, you had the M2 earlier this yeah, year, I did. and now this. Mm -hmm. So how would you compare them? Uh, of course, the power oh, of the three cylinder, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's uh, still a good car, it's uh, confident, mm -hmm. uh, stable mm -hmm. uh, when you brake, uh, when you drive uh, fast corners. Uh, so, it's, uh, I think it's a very good car. Uh, yeah. I think still a little bit of understeer in sharp yeah. corners of my voice. Mm -hmm. uh, but then again, it was a bit wet, so it might be the reason for and. But yeah, I hope that once we put a stiffer suspension, whether it's going to be M2 or a complete other one, is going to be a big improvement. Well, I'll see you later at Apex. So thanks a lot for this amazing, honest review. So just did our second lap. Oops, sorry. Second lap with the Polo came back in one piece. Unfortunately, the track is completely wet. So I still really want to go out which is always, well, not really the smartest thing and fairly useless thing apart from uh, uh, one reason because I want to see how the tires perform in the wet but probably not too good anyway, and also test out the onboard setup so it's not going to be impressive I'm not going to be publishing the full lab because already by now I know it's going to be shit anyway but uh, yeah, let's head out and have some wet fun and like I always say Nürburgring is like a girl it's more fun when she's wet and you don't have to share it with the other guys. Well, instead of going faster, I went almost two full minutes slower. Obviously, thanks for the wet conditions. So, well, at least I have a reference lap for the wet lap, but yeah, doing that on semi slicks is really not the smart choice, kids, unless you're really like holding in like I was doing. Anyway, I guess we now gonna continue with the technical part of today's vlog because we're going to REM to test out the downpipes. And yeah, although usually I do some uh, car spotting, but because of uh, today's weather, it's really nothing uh, special today. Nothing special, yeah, the GT3, the Evo, the Evo is pretty cool, the Evo is definitely pretty cool. Um, then over there, you see that Audi, yeah, I'm way too, like, lazy to get out. This is actually e-tron, electrical Audi, and it's been here for, like, almost a week, so thumbs up for the owner. And I'd like to meet the owner, or at least ask the owner, uh, how many laps he can do on a full tank, full charge of battery. But now let's... Head out first back to Apex, pick up Diana, pick up the downpipes, and go to REM and do some technical research. Hello. So, a quick fast forward to REM, and for the sake of science, science, bitch, we are going to mount the stock wheels because that's what we used for the first measurement. And uh, right now, we well, the stock wheels are 16 inch with stock tires, and this is semi slick on 15 inch. So, this is on such a small horsepower ratio, is definitely gonna have some influence. So, we're gonna do that first, and after that, see what the three inch downpipe has given us in gain. Да? Да. Хуже? 
уже да. 10 сил у тебя, считай, минус. Uh -huh. И момент у тебя, смотри, минус 20. So for some reason, the value is actually lower than the Warward Stock Exhaust and Downpipe, which can have many, many reasons, whether the map is not optimized for it or the air temperature. So now Anton, the guy who chip tuned up, is gonna connect already, actually already connected via TeamSpeak, TeamView. We're gonna have a look. What's up? We're not doing anything. So now since the values are actually lower than we expected, we're gonna try a couple of things. Before we're gonna change the downpipe, the first thing that we're gonna do is actually disconnect the muffler. Um, yeah, to eliminate the fact that here it's actually a pretty narrow pipe. So let's see what this is going to give us. Sport cat, the muffler is off. So let's see what it does now. Fast forward into next day because last night, yeah, night, it was getting very late, it was past midnight, and we wanted to test with other downpipes like we promised to you guys. So we decided to do it today. But for the sake of the video, to keep everything in one video, I decided to include this shot in, well, for you guys today's vlog. But for me, already by now, it's yesterday's vlog. You get the deal. So we're gonna test with two and a half inch downpipe. The only thing that you need to know for now for the upcoming results is the circumstances and right now it's 21 degrees and the humidity is 66 percent our highest measurement back with the stock downpipe and stock exhaust uh the temperature was 14 degrees and 30 percent so like almost the half less humidity in the air which is for the small displacement engines pretty big deal so let's have a look what the two and a half inch downpipe gonna give us And the end result is uh, graph graph 266 newton meters 266 and a half and 122 horsepower let me show you all the graphs that we have here all the values so the stock version it had 172 newton meters and 92 horsepower and then after chip tuning with the stock uh, downpipe stock exhaust system it had 252 newton meters and 121 and after that you can see actually that all the values of horsepower still the same, stay the same, but uh, the torque was lower when we put the three-inch downpipe on it, and then we decided to take away the um, what's it called the muffler yesterday. Um, the sound was amazing, though I must say that. But the torque got lowered. Um, yeah, well, it actually stayed the same, but the horsepower was lowered by five horsepower. Not that it really matters or something, but we understood that the issue was not in the muffler or in the rear section of the exhaust. And this morning we mounted the two and a half inch downpipe opposed to three inch downpipe, and the torque raised by uh, compared to three inch downpipe by another 20 or even 23 newton meters. And again, the horsepower stayed more or less the same. Not sure, well, probably it doesn't, it has no use to mount 2.7 and, uh, and 7.5 and inch downpipe to see the results. I guess the smallest one is the best because, again, when we took away the muffler, meaning that there was even less resistance, the engine performed less. So it's kind of funny to see that uh, although 
the common belief would be that uh, you need like less resistance for the turbocharged engines or even engines at all it's actually not true you really need to have some resistance but this is something like really science physics and such um but what another thing when i told you remember the values of the temperature is uh when we measured the stock stock exhaust uh, and chip tuning the values of the temperature uh, were a lot better the the air temperature and humidity were a lot better because it was uh, 14 degrees opposed to 21 degree um almost 50 percent decreasement and the humidity was 30 percent opposed to 60 something percent well then don't remember you can see it in the previous shot so overall i'm very happy uh we have 20 newton meters more uh, or actually 10 newton meters more but the way the graph develops so we can see here the peak performance is a lot faster and uh and better and again the most important value for me was the the fact that uh the catalytic converter is now more in the back of the engine and not completely in the front so it can like, overheat and explode and cause a lot of engine damage so Overall, uh, huge thumbs up to Guerrilla Exhausts, to, um, to Sebastian, my dear friend. Happy to, to see the results. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get some more collaborations and put something on 218. Because yeah, that car desperately needs some exhaust as well. And M2 as well. And on M2, if we're going to do that, that's going to be definitely interesting to see uh, what kind of uh, difference it makes on uh, big displacement engines. Because like I told you, all the air temperature and such air conditions may make like really influence uh, make big influence on the small displacement engines but anyway i hope you enjoyed today's vlog and see you guys in tomorrow's vlog which is for me now today's vlog and and such and such so and hopefully in a bit but for you guys tomorrow we will get some dry laps but uh, i don't know i don't know it's kind of wet again anyway hope you guys enjoyed see you guys tomorrow bye Comrades, the day has come that I have to eat the Brussels sprouts. I'll eat them if you don't like them. <laughs> well, no wonder you're Belgian. Kinda. Born and raised. Your nose wings just went like... Mm -hmm. We survived! That was a lot of fun! It was! Yes, it was! Okay, now I drive! Uh, yeah, but not with this car.